Senate Bill 1237, fertility fraud, holds doctors accountable when they use their own sperm to impregnate patients without their knowledge. It unanimously passed committee and will now go for a vote before the Arizona State Senate. This bill is uh, something that News 4 Tucson investigators had a big hand in. In fact, last May we brought you the story of one woman who learned the doctor who signed her birth certificate was her biological father. News 4 Tucson's Lupita Murillo has the details. When we first spoke to Kristen Finlayson and her mother, Deborah Gilnett, Kristen vowed that she wanted to get a law on the books. Great step towards, you know, getting liability and how, um, having the doctor be held, you know, have accountability for his actions. Dave Sethi is the attorney handling the civil case against former Tucson OBGYN doctor James Blute. Blute used to head the obstetrics at Tucson Medical Center. Once you told the story immediately, uh, Arizona legislators were reaching out, learning more about this, investigating it on their own, doing their homework. Both Kristen and her brother, Aaron, testified before the Health and Human Services Committee two weeks ago. Aaron and Kristen shared the same father, James Blute. At last count, they have 10 half-siblings. Yeah, he's my full brother. That's been, that's been tested. Then he was, you know, my mom was told the same thing with him. It was the same Hispanic donor, but it was... It was the same donor, just not Hispanic. The Salgados agreed to the procedure. Their only request came from their dad. It had to be a Hispanic donor. They were assured by Dr. Blute that's what they were getting. When these doctors were committing these atrocities, using their own sperm to impregnate their patients without their consent, these doctors never dreamed that their bad acts would be uncovered. Sethi says his clients are very brave to bring such a personal matter before the public. Aaron says his dad, Phil, passed away in 2012. If he was alive, it really, really um, would hurt him too. And, and when you talk about the trust and the shattering of, of, of trust in you know, human beings, uh, I'm sure his trust would have been shattered just like uh, the rest of our families. It's their mother they worry about because they believe what was done to her was criminal. It's serial rape. It's, it's you know, medical or not. Um, that's, that, that's a criminal act. Senator Kirsten Engel of Tucson agrees. I'm concerned that we are not necessarily identifying it as such in this bill, but maybe that's something that we can uh, move forward with separately. We contacted Dr. Blute's attorney, Michelle Thompson, and asked for her reaction to the bill. She said she hadn't heard of it and would get back to us. As of news time, she hadn't called back. Now the process begins all over again in the House of Representatives. We'll keep you posted on the developments. Investigating for you, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.